I'm interested in the exchange between our bodies and uh, what surrounds them. So how does everything that we experience in life, uh, our sensory perceptions, our recollections, how do they manifest themselves in our bodies and how how is it stored? How do we carry them along in certain body parts during our lives? I'm Eva Spierenburg. Uh, I graduated from the HQ in Utrecht in 2009 as a painter. In 2015 and 16, I uh, did a residency at the Rijksacademie, and there my work evolved to more uh, installation, multimedia, video, performance. Sculpture. I try to be as uh, sincere and vulnerable as possible with my own stories because I'm convinced that uh, the more honest and vulnerable I get towards my own experiences, the more accessible it becomes to others and the more it can touch upon uh, shared humanity. Most work starts with my own experiences, recollections from my childhood, from my parents, uh, but also observations that I uh, do on a daily basis, uh, dreams. Uh, so recently I've been uh, working on a drawing journal. So I made these uh, small drawings during daily meditations. It's a uh, leporello, about three meters long. And I started drawing the tensions and pain and recollections, mental states I found in my own body during a quite turbulent period. These drawings now, uh, fi now form the starting point for the sculptures and uh, object paintings I've been making in the last months. So some of these uh, shapes, for example, these hanging dangling legs now transformed into a fabric sculpture or here this also from legs more from the space between the legs when my legs are pressed together. Some of them are very much about tension and discomfort but uh, but I also registered how my uh, for example my tongue changes state. Yeah, it's quite an intuitive process that in one certain moment a shape and a feeling and a content and things that I've been interested in for a long time come together and it has to be like that. The concept and the story also forms itself in the making. Yeah, also because the process is very important in my work, I uh, try to use materials that my body can have an impact, a direct impact on. I prefer to not use materials that have too much of a distance between me and the end product. For example, I use a lot of uh, clay, but not really as a ceramics, but more to make molds, for example, for this head. I've made my head out of clay and scratched marks into it, coming from the drawing journal and uh, then made a mold and filled it with latex rubber. So now it still carries the traces of the clay that it had before. Yeah, I, I hope and usually it works <laughs> and happens that the things that I'm trying to get a grip on in my life and try to transform to some sort of shape can be recognized by the audience for them make them think of similar experiences, emotions.